You know, when you start paying attention to popular media, you start finding people referring to certain personalities within the, I guess you could call it the survivalist community as these survival experts. And you kind of wonder like deep down, at least I have, what makes someone a survival expert? And why is it that you hear about those individuals being an expert, but someone that is a prepper, you don't hear about prepper experts or bushcraft experts. At least I've never heard it that way. You never hear about a pioneer expert or a homestead expert. You pretty much just hear about survival experts. And it's a little confusing. I, I first thought maybe it was because these individuals, at least a lot of them had military backgrounds. So I'm thinking, oh, maybe if you've taken certain survival and evasion classes, maybe something like that, uh, that allows you to be considered an expert. Maybe you've taken certain tests. Um, to my knowledge, there's no college degree in survivalism. Uh, I was like, okay, maybe it's not so much that, maybe it's a title given to you by other people, you know, just kind of in an arbitrary sense. And I think that probably mostly is true. I think that if you have a certain personality <clears throat> that is likable, um, you bring a, a group of people together over time through a body of work. It could be through a website or videos, it could be through books. <clears throat> and, and over time, you pretty much are looked at as an authority figure. Some people though, self-proclaim that they are an expert, but I think that for most people though, the title is given to them a lot more so than just given to themselves. So I think it's very interesting to, to kind of look at this a little deeper because I get a lot of times questions about what types of popular common personalities that I would recommend. And I have to say, though, to maybe to your surprise, that I wouldn't really recommend very many at all. Uh, the last person I would probably recommend would be like Bear Grylls. I think that he is pretty much dangerous for the person that's just getting introduced to the genre of what it means to have survival skills. Um, I, for one, am a prepper, so I don't get too deep into the whole survival thing. I think that as a prepper, I'm trying to avoid survival situations so I don't have to deal with that. So my situation is mainly focused on how do you circumvent survival situations? And so that's what I look at. But if you have all your preps put together and you want to just kind of build up your survival skills, which is a good idea, um, who would you look at? And I'd say once again, Bear Grylls is not the person that you want to, you know, to to look at because he kind of makes it as if it's a big adventure. That's going to be fun to get lost in the woods in the middle of nowhere. You know, a lot of his videos, he starts out with jumping out of a plane and he parachutes on top of a mountain and then he scales down the mountain. Uh, sometimes he goes through a glacier or through a big patch of woods. Uh, he builds a raft and he goes through the rapids and he just has this blast. It's just a fun blast of adventure. Uh, I'm sure he has tons of safety crew and all kinds of technicians and just tons of redundancy to make sure he's gonna be okay. And he doesn't really represent any of the true horrors just absolute terrifying horrors of real survival situations. And I think he does a disservice by, by being like that. So you have to look at his videos and even some of his books as pretty much just for entertainment value and that alone. I don't almost look at anything he does as real advice. And I would kind of recommend to you to kind of look at it that way as well. Of course, I'm not an expert, so uh, don't listen to me, I guess. But the thing about other characters such as Les Stroud and like maybe Dave Canterbury, and there's a whole bunch of others that I could recommend, uh, they for the most part are pretty good. From time to time I disagree with a few things, but you know, you're never gonna find someone that you probably agree with 100%, that's just being human. But a lot of people that are really humble, they are the people that I look to the most. And especially if they don't consider themselves an expert and they don't even talk about 
expertise. They just talk about facts. And and I get really excited when I meet someone like that that's really down to earth and that they say things like I would say, such as go camping, learn the skills you need to learn the way you need to learn it, and put together your own survival plan with the knowledge you have and just be familiar with your capabilities, know your tools, know your environment. These are the things that really allow you to survive. Not watching some popular show like Bear Grylls, uh, doing some kind of jungle madness and doing things that the average person wouldn't even remotely consider, wouldn't even think about doing. And so let's all be realistic and let's stop thinking about who is a survival expert. Thanks for watching.